Hello, I'm Jacob and this is the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about my experiences at the VA. Uh, and I'm going to try and keep it as quick and non-political as I can. Um, I've been dealing with the VA now for five years and uh, recently, uh, actually Ju July 19th, I broke my ankle. Dexy, be quiet! Specifically, I uh, broke my tibia and fibia apart, broke my fibia, and fractured my tibia in a bicycle accident. And uh, I took an ambulance to the local hospital, and uh, they took x-rays. They saw me, they took x-rays. I saw a doctor for about three and a half minutes. He told me I might have a slight fracture and that I needed to go see a orthopedic surgeon by that Monday. Uh, this was, I believe, a Thursday? He said by Monday, I need to, at the latest, I need to see an orthopedic surgeon and, uh, and I'd probably walk out from the orthopedic surgeon, like no big deal. And so I denied pain medication, uh, which is the first time in my entire life that's been a mistake. Uh, long story short, they didn't, the VA didn't schedule me for a surgery until July 31st, because when I put my request in through the VA, through my primary care provider, he didn't read my email. And I kept calling the VA and talking to different people, and they said, well, there's nothing that we can do because only your primary care provider can do anything, and he hasn't read the email. So the entire veteran affairs can't help me with my broken ankle because one guy is not opening and checking his email. That's cool. Uh, the pain was extraordinary. And so a lot of people talk about pain. There's a little pain scale. Uh, to give you some context, I didn't need pain medication when I broke my clavicle, top two ribs, and scapula, cracked my scapula. I didn't need pain medication either time that I got wisdom teeth removed. Uh, I didn't need pain medication when I ripped my face open down to the skull. Uh, I'd broken multiple uh, fingers, toes, all kinds of stuff. And uh, I've never really felt like I needed pain medication. I thought I'd rather be sober. And the pain was so bad that while I was waiting for the surgery, um, the swelling got so bad that my ankle turned into the size of a, like a volleyball and it actually dislocated my foot. So my foot was just out there floating somewhere um, and uh, couldn't get a surgery through the VA till the 31st. It was, it was a bad, bad deal. So uh, I got my surgery and they told me to come back in six weeks. I was told in six weeks times when I came back, I would probably walk back in, all the swelling and discoloration would be gone, and I'd be good to go. I came back in, oh, and I was supposed to be scheduled for physical therapy in six weeks, and I should be able to uh, be walking after the six weeks period. I come back after six weeks, I see a completely new resident there, because there you never see the same people in the VA. It's always somebody different, and it's always somebody in training, or who's incompetent. And, uh... He asked me whether I was in physical therapy and walking yet or not. I was nowhere close to walking, not even a little bit close. And so uh, he told me that the swelling was still so bad and that I couldn't, it was so painful because I wasn't walking and exercising it and I could and I wasn't in physical therapy. I was told that I specifically told that I'd, that appointment was so that I could get physical therapy and not to walk until then. Okay, so that night, uh, I go and I make a cane and I try walking for the first time. Huge mistake. Incredibly painful, and it set me back like a week on my recovery. It was not a good idea, but basically he told me that I was just being a pansy, and that's why my situation was so bad, so I decided that I ought to suck it up and go walk. Thanks, VA. Another, another check for your high-quality personnel that you guys have taking care of our veterans. So after 
his appointment, I had an, another appointment in six weeks, and I was told that all the swelling and discoloration would be gone, and that I would be walking in there unassisted. Another six weeks go by. They still haven't gotten me into physical therapy, um, even though I'm calling them up and bugging people about it and stuff. And uh, another six weeks go by, and I'm on crutches. I'm doing better. Um, the worst, the worst part of this whole experience was that first, like, whole month, I had to drive about a hundred miles to get to the veteran hospital because I couldn't use the local one. So, uh, and I'm saving the best part for last. Don't worry. So, and the the drives to Nashville were so incredibly painful. Being in the car was just absolutely terrible. It was just absolutely the worst. Uh, next six, six week appointment comes up. I'm still on crutches, foot still incredibly swollen, incredibly discolored. And uh, they say in another six weeks, I should be able to walk in, unhindered. All of my swelling and all of my discoloration should be gone. Again, <clears throat> I finally start physical therapy. To this day, uh, what's the date today? December the 6th, I believe. My ankle is still extremely swollen and uh, is still discolored, but I am walking pretty decently. Um, I've gotten to know some more medical professionals through this experience and physical therapy and everything and talk to them about how it is to work with the VA. But I got this letter in the mail from the VA today and it says that my claim for coverage has been denied because at the time of the emergency treatment was provided, veteran had not received VA treatment within the last 24 months prior to the emergency treatment, 38 CFR 17.1002D. That's weird, because I've gone to every single annual checkup every year. I've been to the VA multiple times for other injuries and problems in the past 24 months, probably 10 or 15 times. In fact, right after this happened, I had to go back and get my blood work redone because they messed up my blood work the first time and said that some of my levels were all screwed up. <clears throat> Here's the kicker, is in getting to know all of these uh, medical professionals who work with the VA uh, through chiropractors, physical therapy, and etc. They say that they'll submit paperwork to the VA for a person, uh, and the VA will deny them saying that they didn't submit the paperwork. They'll go back and show, oh, oh, my bad, you did submit that. I'm sorry. Uh, it's like uh, purposeful incompetence so that they can avoid payment. All right, so I didn't get nearly enough physical therapy. Uh, my condition is significantly worse right now because the VA system is so incompetent and my foot was forced out of socket for like almost two weeks because they couldn't get me in to get a surgery. And, uh, and now they won't pay for it for a lie. Now what's gonna happen is, uh, I'm gonna talk to the VFW about this. I am a member of the VFW and they're gonna set things straight and then they'll act like, oh, we didn't see all of your 10 pages of medical records from the last two freaking years. Um, my bad, we actually didn't even look. Of course it's covered. But uh, here's, here's how this works is if people don't look into fighting this and they just pay it, that's what the VA wants by the way, uh, they tell veterans to get outside insurance. Veterans who have earned VA health coverage are told to get outside insurance by the VA because the VA sucks. They only want to schedule to see you once a year. They will give you the absolute minimum medical coverage that they can possibly give you so that they won't have to see you. They hope that your crap just clears up whether it's right or wrong before they have to see you, okay? So uh, here's, here's, here's the message here. I hope you guys share this, is uh, veterans are being screwed by the VA. People are telling me that the VA is better now. It's not. Uh, I mean, you talk about uh, socialized health care. I've been to the hospital a few times when I stationed in Germany. Just shoot me. Just put me out of my misery. This 
is what you get with universal health care is an absolute nightmare. My body will probably be permanently hindered because the the incompetence of veteran affairs, which everybody is like, oh, so social health care, universal health care, Bernie Sanders. Yeah, Bernie Sanders was behind the VA all this time, screwing soldiers and putting money into his own pockets. That's how socialism works. So, uh, anyways, guys, you know, I left, uh, before this happened, I left uh, the VA Medical Center in Nashville a bad review, and a ombudsman got a hold of me. They called me. They emailed me. What can we do to change your review? How about stop sucking? Like, they call as if they care. They're probably being paid an exorbitant amount to act like they care, but they're not actually going to do anything. They just want you to think that they care, so you take that review down so they can have better than a two-star freaking review. These people, the people in charge of veteran affairs need to be, go to court and be summarily hung by the neck until dead. That's what they deserve for ruining people's lives. And veterans are dying all over the place. And people are like, oh, I do 21 push-ups a day to help this. And I do this to help this. And let's help our veterans. But they don't actually do anything and nothing changes. No matter how many hashtags you put out, until people start being held responsible for absolute and utter incompetence, often leading to death, then nothing's going to change. So anyways, no, the VA is not better under Trump. It's not. The VA sucks. People are still dying before they even get their medical appointments. And, uh, and until drastic measures are taken, people are fired and put into prison, etc. Nothing's going to change because that's how socialism works. You find ways to take advantage of the system. You do the absolute minimum amount of work. You get promoted until you are beyond your capabilities and you take all that you can get because you don't give a crap about your job because why would you? You're going to get paid anyways. You don't have to do anything beyond the minimum as long as you check the blocks and cover your butt and you might as well freaking rape, kill, and steal all the way to the top because it's never going to matter. I'm done talking. Thanks for watching.